Hi, I'm Tidlini Harm, and this is my theatre of conflict. Look at this! Look at this! My garden is under attack from slugs and snails. They're everywhere, even up in my apple spindles. This means war. Right, mate, you're coming off there and going in my pot. You're coming off there. And so are you. And you. And you. And just look at the size of that one. You're coming off, mate. Look at this lot. Just look at them. These are the lucky ones, because I'm going to take these a mile from here and put them in a field. For the rest, it's nuclear war. No more are you going to terrorise my plants. I guess it's all this damp weather that's been bringing them out, but I'm not going to tolerate them in my garden. If it isn't enough that my garden's under attack from slimy pests, there's also a lot of weeds to have to deal with too. Weeds! Weeds! And Soft Fruit City needs a bit of a weed again. You see, Gardening isn't all sex and glamour. Sometimes it's really quite tedious. You know, you watch these gardening programmes on TV with all these gardening personalities and they make it look so easy, you know. Just stick your floury bundle in your little composty peaty thing and, and in two weeks time I'll come back and I'll pick the fruit off it. But they never show you them weeding. And do you know why? Because when the cameras are turned off, there's an army of people who come in and just weed for them. I want my own army. Grumble, 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 grumble. And then I have to deal with all the weeds in the path as well. Grumble, 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 grumble. There's a few little bits and pieces I'm going to do in the greenhouse this week, really around the tomatoes. But look at this! This is the remains of my first courgette flower and this is the little courgette that's growing behind it. Oh, it's so exciting! I'm going to have courgettes for tea soon. Brilliant! Now my tomatoes are starting to do quite well. In fact, they're going to start needing some support soon. But the other thing I'm going to need to do is start pinching out. To help the plant grow nice and tall, I need to pinch out these shoots that are growing between the main stem and the branches. So. Pinch that one out. There's some down here to pinch out, this big one. Shouldn't be too worried about the size of the things that you pinch out. Doesn't really matter as long as you pinch them out. Pinching out is just one of those things you have to do. I've pinched out some really quite big bits from the, the money maker here. And the idea is to get it to grow up rather than become bushy you get more tomatoes from the plant that way. I'm also going to put some canes in now to give some support for these tomato plants as they grow. Just tie the tops here to this piece of horizontal bamboo with some twine and then I'll very loosely with some garden twine just help the stem become attached to the support. That's fine, doesn't need to be tight. So now my tomato plants are pinched out and supported. After all this they'd better give me some tomatoes. Grumble, grumble. And while I'm in the greenhouse, Mr Woodpigeon's back. Oh, he's going to fall off, he's going to fall off. Oh, he fell off but only as far as the seed tray. Now what are you going to do? 
Mm -hmm. Pick at some seed, maybe pick at the fat balls. What's your pleasure tonight? Ah, uh, seed. We've had a pair of collared doves in the garden and usually when they arrive they sit in the seed tray like this. One of them sits on the end keeping guard while the other one has a good peck. Oh look, what's that? What? Over there? Oh yes! Have you ever seen that before? Nope. Can't see any others either. Oh well, never mind. The other visitors we've been seeing are these lovely goldfinches. Now they seem to enjoy the sunflower seeds as much as the siskin. You can see the siskin on the other side of the feeder. He'll pop his head out in a minute. There he is, cooey! Wee! This is fun. Wee! And not only that, but I also get a snack while I'm on this swing as well. Nom 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 nom. Oh, here's his mate. Hey, when's it my turn to sit in there? Not talking to you anymore. And look at my rhubarb. It's big enough for me to wear as a hat. Well, that's all I've really got time for this week. Thanks for watching. Next week, I'm going to be doing a lot with my vegetable garden and with the fruit as well. So do join me next time in Tiddly's Busy Garden.